Hello Patriots, it's Hastuza here. Please Google Hastuza sometime. That's spelled H-U-S-T-U-S-A. That's the acronym for Help Us Save the USA. Uh, today is November 4th, and three years ago today, Barack Obama won the election. Uh, our country's virtually gone down the toilet since then. And uh, I'm here today to rant about what's going on with Congress and the presidency and events around the world and the occupiers and the Tea Party. Uh, I've been to 108 Tea Party events. I was in Washington, D.C. on uh, November, excuse me, uh, September 9th, September 12th, 2009. Uh, we had 1.8 million people there, and not a single person was arrested that day at all uh, in Washington, D.C., not a Tea Party. Uh, now we've got the occupiers going around stirring up violence and hatred and, and uh, wearing the disguise of possible Tea Partiers with the uh, Don't Tread on Me flag and very few American flags. Uh, we never tore up anything. We always had permits and we were gone in a few hours. Uh, the occupiers are, you know, a bunch of deadbeats, uh, uh, useful idiots. And uh, I got to tell you folks that uh, what I've seen in all the events that I've been to, uh, I saw down in San Diego uh, back in February. Uh, I was at an event put on by Iranians uh, celebrating the Egyptian Revolution. Well, uh, I went to their website and uh, there's about 20 groups involved with that. You know, a couple of them were communist groups, uh, Palestinian groups, uh, and they were there at the, at the, uh, oh, the federal building down in San Diego. So as kind of a counter protest, I stood on a nearby street corner and uh, held up my I didn't vote for this abomination sign and they kept to themselves over by the federal building. Well the second Friday that they did that same event they came over and surrounded me and shouted me down and ridiculed me and uh, you know I stood up for myself of course and uh, they didn't have much of an argument but that was in February of 2011 and I've seen the same group appear at other Occupy events and what they're doing is they're they're useful on the web and uh, they bring college students in and and other useful idiots uh, and then they get a little bit of this and that going and uh, before you know it there's fire set and wind is broken uh, one thing to look for is Yasser Arafat's headdress which is white with black like chain link print on it. Uh, look up Yasser Arafat on the internet, you'll find his garb and uh, you see that quite frequently uh, at you know the Egyptian Revolution, uh, the Libyan Revolution, the Syrian Revolution, it's everywhere. So the fatwa that uh, Yasser Arafat started, uh, you know this guy also received a Nobel Peace Prize uh, the fatwa that he started is continuing today and uh, all the Muslims that have infiltrated uh, the United States are here doing their job of uh, tearing down the United States and now they're actively participating in the Occupy Wall Street, Occupy Portland, Occupy wherever uh, they're actively participating and gathering useful idiots together and you know the the violence is escalating as in Oakland um, so just be aware that uh, this violence is is the cause of people who want to destroy our country now for for uh, Nancy Pelosi and Barack Obama and all these other idiots in Congress uh, to to say that they're okay with uh, you know these occupiers I mean, that alone should be enough to vote these jerks out. Uh, you don't condone violence, you don't condone uh, 
illegal activities such as gathering without permits. You know, whenever the crowd reaches a certain size, it needs a permit. You know, you can have small groups gather, that's fine, that's freedom of speech. But when you occupy an area and you, you crap all over the place and, and do what they're doing, uh, that's when permits are necessary and why, you know, the, the police should be allowed to uh, evacuate these areas if no permits were acquired. But you have all these events taking place in cities where, uh, you know, the mayor or, or the police chief or somebody uh, is uh, a Democrat and the whole goal of the Democrats, it seems, for the last 30 years has been to destroy the United States. Now, I'm not a Republican, I'm not a Democrat, I voted for both. I just vote for the person with the most, that I can have the most trust in, and the person who uses their brain. Uh, Nancy Pelosi never uses her brain, it's been removed. Uh, she is uh, needing to be rowed out on a rail, and I hope to do that September 2012. I want to ride Harry Reid and Nancy Pelosi out on a rail for destroying our country. I want them to come to the microphones and try and explain some of the many things that they've done that have done nothing but destroy our country. Now you got Barack Obama starting to sound a little bit more like he's for saving the country and creating jobs. Well this is, you know, three years later after he was elected and jobs should have been his number one priority. Instead, they wasted all that time on a health care bill, they crammed it down our throat, and none of us want it, and it'll eventually be repealed. Now look at all that time that was wasted. Look at all the money that corporations have spent to accommodate this new farce, and it's going to be thrown out. So this has been three years of wasted time, basically, and I want to mention something else. The Democrats say, uh, what's her name, Wasserman Schultz, Debbie Wasserman Schultz. She goes around touting those figures that 700,000 jobs were being lost per month under the Bush administration. Prior to Obama getting in in January of 2009. Well, you know, I'm a business owner myself, been in the same town for 27 years. And whenever it looked like Obama was going to get elected, we all feared what was coming, and exactly what we feared has arrived. And these other corporations that have not been hiring have been doing so because of Obamacare and, and knowing what all these liberals want to do to our country. So they're not stupid, and they were laying people off prior to Obama getting taking the oath of office because they saw what was coming. And, you know, if they want to tout those figures, well, what about the figures over the last two and a half years? You know, we're still over 9% unemployment. And Nancy Pelosi comes out and says, well, it would have been 15% as her eyes roll in her head, you know, if we hadn't have passed all this crap. You know, well, that's bullshit, Nancy Pelosi, because I'll tell you what, the actual figures that your that our government lies about is somewhere near 20 percent and whenever I do work nowadays the only people that have money to be able to hire me are government employees I've lost so many of my clients that are just you know ordinary people working for ordinary corporations they don't have the money anymore a lot of them are losing their homes and you know that's just nuts and Nancy Pelosi you're my main target because I live in California. I'm after you. You get front seat on my rail. So we're going to come to uh, Washington, D.C. in September of 2012, and we're going to ride Harry Reid and Nancy Pelosi out on a rail, and that's going to publicly identify them as the, the bad people in Congress. Harry Reid right now won't allow a single bill to come up for vote in the Senate, and then they all tout that, oh, the Republicans in Congress, they're, you know, they're just screwing everything up. That's not true. And this brings me to my last point here. Please Google equally tripartitioned Congress. I want to divide Congress into thirds. Instead of having one representative per district, I want to have three.